Hello guys, welcome to When in Halifax. So today we will discuss about Atlantic Immigration Pilot Program. So if you subscribe to our channel because you want to what you want to learn more about Nova Scotia provincial nominee nominee and you are tired of waiting uh, for provincial nominee of Nova Scotia category B, maybe Atlantic Pilot uh, Atlantic Immigration Pilot Program is for you. So there's a good thing, there's an advantage of Atlantic Immigration Pilot Program. Watch this video till the end because what I'm going to explain to you is I'm going to give you tips what I'm going to explain what is Atlantic Immigration Pilot Program and in the next video I'm going to share to you how to find a designated employer. So let's begin our discussion with Atlantic Immigration Pilot Program. To easily understand what is Atlantic Immigration Pilot Program, this is created this is created to fill up the demands of job here in Atlantic provinces. So what is the Atlantic provinces? So if we are talking about Atlantic provinces, we are talking about the New Brunswick, Newfoundland, Nova Scotia, and Prince Edward Islands or the PEI. So there are three programs in Atlantic immigration pilot program international graduate program high skilled program and intermediate skilled program so i'm going to explain this to you in the easiest way okay so the first one is international graduate program so it says here by definition according to canada.ca's website atlantic international graduate program have a degree or diploma or credential from the publicly funded institution in Atlantic provinces. So to easily understand, if you are currently in Atlantic provinces, currently studying and later you will get a diploma, international graduate program is for you. So again, to easily understand, if you are in Canada studying in Atlantic provinces, international graduate program is for you. The second one, the third, the second program of Atlantic Immigration Pilot Program is the high skilled program. Okay, so high skilled program is very easy to understand. NOC type O or level zero A. And B. So those, those are considered as the high skilled program. Again, if you don't know what is your NOC, NOC number or what category of NOC you are, I'll post a video up here. You can click the link discussing what is NOC and step by step on how to get your NOC number. So anyway, guys, if your NOC are are in level zero or A and B, your Atlantic Immigration Program is a high-skilled program. So the third one and the last program for Atlantic Immigration Pilot Program is the Intermediate Skill Program. So it's very easy again to understand. If you, if you, your NOZ is on category or level C, you are in the intermediate skill program. There is actually two options in intermediate skill program. The first one is the level C NOC, and the second option is the NOC 3212 or for nurses. So again, we discuss about the international graduate program, high skill, uh, high skill program, intermediate skill program. My question to you now is, if you are a registered nurse, which program you belong? Intermediate skilled program or high skilled program? Comment your answer 
on the comment section guys so next is what are the documents needed so this is the good news guys if you have difficulty of speaking english if you have difficulty of proof of fund maybe atlantic immigration pilot program is for you so what's the good news for the english test we know if you are planning to get a permanent resident here in Canada under the Federal Express Entry or Provincial Nominee, you need to get the highest score as possible, right? But in Atlantic Immigration Pilot Program, the required CLB score is only four. Only four. So if you're taking an IELTS, your score is 3.5 for reading, four for writing, and listening is 4.5 and for speaking 4 and i think in my perspective you can easily attain this score then sir what if i have a self -pip? so if you're going to get a self -pip, your clb score again is 4 again for reading writing listening and speaking are all 4 so for education requirement, it's the same with ECA. So if you are already have your ECA, you get your WES, uh, your WES, your ICAS, or uh, International Credential Evaluation um, Service, you can use this um, e uh, evaluation. So if you don't know what is your ECA, what are the step-by-step -step on how to evaluate your credentials, I will put a link up here to so that you will have a step-by-step -step or you will understand what is ECA and how to evaluate your education. So, so the, the second best good news or what is uh, the second good news for Atlantic Immigration Pilot Program is Pilot Atlantic Immigration Pilot Program proof of funds that are required for proof of funds are very low compared when you're applying for Federal Express Entry. I still remember, guys, when I applied for Federal Express Entry, the required fund or proof of fund for four members' family are 23000 But here... In Atlantic Immigration Pilot Program, for four members, you are only required to get 5,885. So again, if your problem is proof of funds, if your problem is your English stress, try to consider Atlantic Immigration Pilot Program. So what will be the step by step? you need to find a job offer. This job offer must be a designated employer here in Atlantic provinces. So my question for you now, what give me the four provinces that is included in Atlantic, uh, Atlantic provinces? Comment your answer in the comment section. Sharing is caring. So anyway, guys, um, the next is you need to get a job offer and the job offer is from a designated employer. Once you have, uh, once you get a job offer from employer, they will ask you several documents which is already discussed and then you need to have a settlement plan uh, from a settlement agency here in Canada. Once you have this, you will get or you will receive an um, invitation from the province and from there you will uh, you will be flying from let's say from Philippines to Canada as a permanent resident so I will explain this more further step by step on the next video what I'm going what to expect on the next video is I'm going to show to you how to find a designated employer in each provinces and then I'm going to explain in the next video to what are the step by step so that you will deeply understand 
what is Atlantic Immigration Pilot Program. So I hope guys that you like this video, you find it helpful. If you find it helpful, please share this to your friends, share this to your family because sharing is caring. So that's it guys. Thank you and bye-bye.